Defence Adaptations in Arthropods. Our first example is the rhino beetle. In regard to its own body weight, it is comparatively the strongest animal on the planet and can lift up to 850 times its own weight. They have a thick exoskeleton and robust pair of wings that protect their abdomen and also means they are able to fly. As seen in the video, the beetle is able to avoid predators in long vegetation. It is also nocturnal and its dark colours make it almost undetectable at night. The best defence mechanism, however, is the production of a hissing sound known as stridulation. This intimidates its predators with the desired aim of deterring them. Caterpillars are the favoured pr favored prey for many species, being a rich source of protein, so have therefore evolved a number of defensive adaptations. The colouration and shape of the body may make the caterpillar seem larger than it is, or indicate that it is not edible. Some have bristle bristles or long hair-like setae with detachable tips that lodge into the skin, causing irritation. Others have bristles associated with ven venom glands, potentially powerful enough to kill even large animals. Another order of arthropod with interesting defensive features is isopoda, specifically the woodlouse. Their main form of defence is conglobation, the ability to roll their bodies into a ball. The coloration of the woodlouse means that it is well camouflaged in its habitat. It also has a flattened body. Finally, some species can produce bad smelling chemicals to deter predators. In the subphylum salicerate, scorpions have very prominent pedipalps which are modified into pincers. They have a tetanus telson with a sting containing venom, which is used against predators as deterrent. When approached, they raise their pincers and erect their tail to make themselves look bigger and bring all aggressive points to the forefront. Centipedes have a modified first pair of legs, giving it a pair of venomous claws used for both hunting prey and defence. Bright colours act as a warning that the animal is poisonous, but centipedes are also capable of automising. This is where legs that have been grabbed by a predator are detached from the body, allowing the centipede to escape. Whilst there is a great variety of defence techniques, the purpose remains constant. To ensure the preservation of life, the arthropod must either stand its ground or retreat. <laughs>